Welcome to American Dream Selling Kansas City, a city known for barbecue, crazy sports fans, and of course, our beautiful fountains. I'm your host, Adriana Bates, and we're gonna go all around town to take a look at some amazing real estate and experience our culture and our lifestyle. American Dream, welcome to Kansas City. Welcome to the American Dream Selling Kansas City. I'm your host, Danny Beyer. Today we're gonna to be checking out the brand new Oak Ridge Family Social Club and then meeting with interior designer Laura Coleman of LC Interiors. Here we are in the lounge of the Social Club with owner Chuck Kuda. Chuck, tell us about your vision for this project. We wanted to bring everything together at one place where families could come and have good, clean, wholesome entertainment. Uh, outside, inside, we've got multiple amenities and venues where families could get together and interact. Awesome. I noticed that you have a full restaurant and bar downstairs, Chuck. Tell us about that. Yeah, we felt that was going to be an integral part of, of our project. Uh, so we wanted to be a cold air driven restaurant, a uh, family friendly restaurant. Uh, we've got a great menu, uh, a lot of kid options, a lot of multiple options. So we're very excited about the restaurant. Chuck, the social club just opened in December. Tell us about how someone can become a member. Okay, so yeah, we have three levels of membership. We have an individual uh, membership, a couple membership, and a family membership. Okay. So they could call Angel Harbison, and they could get on our website to become a member. So I am really excited about this concept. I'm not familiar with it in Kansas City at all. Um, is this the first one here? Oh yeah, this is the first one in the country. As a matter of fact, the Part 3 golf course, we have full, full synthetic tee boxes, full synthetic greens. It's the only fully synthetic green golf course in, in the continental United States. So uh, yeah, we're very excited. The club is your vision. Yeah. How does it look so great? Once it was reduced to paper, I kind of uh, stayed out of the way. I hired LC Interiors uh, for the interior design and the finishes. And uh, Laura Coleman did a great job. She would bring us you know, palettes of, of colors that she's gonna do, mood boards, et cetera. Yeah. And she was fantastic to work with, very easy to work with. Uh, I turned her loose and basically just signed the checks. So. It looks great. Um, let's go meet Laura and learn more about the design aspects she chose to bring to the club. We are here at the Oak Ridge Family Social Club with Laura Coleman, the owner of LC Interiors. Um, Laura, tell us a bit about this project. How long has it taken to design? We started this project in November of 2021. It's been about 14 months long. This has really been my baby, and I'm glad to see it finally come to fruition to where everyone can enjoy it. Perfect. We really wanted the Family Social Club to be an indoor-outdoor experience. So we took this outdoor deck the entire length of the building with plenty of outdoor seating. We kept the same color scheme and the same vibe that fits with the inside, so everything still flows nicely. Laura, what was your inspiration for the Oak Ridge Family Social Club? Back to whenever we had walked through the space originally, I really just kind of looked at what was here back in the day and wanted to just elevate it. Um, whenever we had our team meetings, the main thing that we talked about and the vibe that we wanted for the whole Oak Ridge experience was elevated casual. Um, so really we just kind of took cues off of what was here a long time ago and elevated it. Laura, thank you so much for sharing your inspiration for the social club here. Uh, do you have any other projects nearby that you would like to showcase? Yes, I have another project that's probably one of my favorites that I'd really like to go show you. Let's go take a look. We're here with Laura Coleman again. We're in this amazing basement that she helped design in Staley Hills. And we're gonna sit down and take a look at all the space and talk about how you added 1,200 square feet to this home. Our clients aren't always able to find exactly what they're looking for. So um, Laura's gonna tell us about how she helped design this space to make this home perfect for her clients. Yes. So we did the initial consult um, on this basement finish because there was actually nothing here. It was just blank and empty. So we were able to really dive in and see what they were needing out of the space. Um, doing that consult, I realized that the wife is a huge puzzle person and craft person, and that is what this specific area was made for. They have a little girl now that they want to be able to have those moments and sit down here and craft and do all their puzzling together. It's also very close to the bar that is just right behind us, that they can sit here and play games and have some cocktails with friends and, and you know, just enjoy the space. Um, we also did put an office down here for the husband since he now works from home like most of the people. Um, again, they needed that space and then we have a really cool hangout spot with a TV that is perfect for coming down and watching the game since they're big basketball fans. Thank you again, Laura, for sharing your designs with us today. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Selling Kansas City. I'm Danny Beyer and we will see you next time on The American Dream.
Welcome to the American Dream, selling Kansas City. I'm your host, Jonathan Goforth with Keller Williams Platinum Partners. This is the most creative home I've ever seen. You won't believe what you're about to see inside. This is Becca Stobno. Your husband, Andreas, is gonna join us in just a moment, but first I wanna thank you for inviting me into your home. Becca leads the Summit Theater Group in Lee Summit, Missouri. You act, mm -hmm. you sing, yeah. you direct. Yeah. Tell me about your passion. Summit Theater Group is in its 10th anniversary season this year. Uh, we are very excited about all of the shows that we've been able to produce. We do around five shows a year, along with cabarets, trivia nights, karaoke, and other exciting events like that. That's really exciting. Yeah. Let's head over to the piano. Not only are you a talented actor, but Becca is also an accomplished pianist. Tell me a few of your most favorite performances through Summit Theater Group. Well, I would say the top show that I've ever done was Mamma Mia. We did that two summers ago in 21. Uh, we also, a couple of years before that, did Beauty and the Beast, which we performed at Lee Summit West Theater. Had a cast of about 80 people, all dressed in the costumes, uh, that you would expect from Beauty and the Beast, and I got to be the feather duster for that, so that was a lot of fun. I trailed feathers everywhere I went, so that was a lot of fun. Uh huh. Well, you and Andreas are both highly creative people. I hear you have a fire pole built into this home, yes. exactly like what you would see at a real fire station. Mm -hmm. It's three stories tall, so about 30 feet high. Wow. Hi, my name is Andreas Stavno, and when we designed this house, we added some fun features to express our family's playfulness. See you in a sec. Where's Andreas? All right. <laughs> you have the most creative house I've ever seen. Tell me about a few of your other favorite things about your home. You know, we're really grateful about the location here. We back up to about 100 acres of wooded trails, and the trails even connect all the way to the Chiefs and Royal Stadiums. It's just a great place, and we wanted to bring some of those natural elements inside. And so the main level has a little bit of that mountain lodge feel, and then the lower level brings this eclectic, funky, industrial style as well. Are you ready for something magical? I am definitely ready for something magical. This wardrobe is magical. How many people do you think we can fit inside? They might be surprised as the world that awaits them. It's looking really full in there. Welcome to Gryffindor. Be sure not to tell anyone the password to get into this secret room. Andreas is really just a big kid at heart because inside this huge home is this uh, Lego room. It's designated to hold your collection of millions of Lego pieces. What got you into, into Lego? Yeah, yeah, Jonathan. So when I was a teenager, I moved from Germany to the States and brought my original Lego sets with me. And then that passion grew into this, you know, this mild obsession that you see here. And we even used to run the world's happiest little Lego store out of our home and we sent this little minifig to our customers at that time. It was just a lot of fun. In addition to that, your family is really into fitness. You are probably the only person I've ever met that has their own rock climbing wall built into this huge home. So we're gonna go there next. You're not gonna believe what you're about to see. My name is Jonathan Goforth. It's been my privilege to be hosting this very special episode of the American Dream Selling Kansas City. Thank you to Becca and Andreas for allowing me into your home to film. Now you can see what makes the Stobno family and their home so special. Thank you for watching and please join me on the next episode of the American Dream.
Good morning, Michael Hearn here, and James Hearn, co-host of American Dream Selling Kansas City. And today we're in downtown Lee Summit. We're gonna visit some of the spots James and I love to visit, and we look forward to showing you around. And right now we're enjoying some great coffee at Whistle Stop Coffee, so please plan to stop by here, and we're gonna head down to KD Books and check out that great bookstore, great books, great toys, great gifts. So come along with us. Let's have a, have a little journey here. Hello everyone, we are here in downtown Lee Summit on a beautiful pre-Christmas day. Here as we're heading into the holidays, but we're here at KD's Books with the owner, proprietor here, Tina Perney. Tina, thank you for having us and having Michael and I in today. Thank we so appreciate it. You have such a beautiful store, and as I was sharing with you, you and I kind of have a history. You were a school teacher, right? What, what did you teach? Um, I was in Harrisonville at the elementary building and I taught second and third. I knew you there because our kids went to school together. My wife taught with you. My wife's an elementary music teacher. And here you are at Katie's Books in Lee Summit. What brought you here? Well, I worked here part time for about 10, 11, 11 years. Mm -hmm. And just as Saturdays, I was still teaching on Saturdays and on special events just because it was fun and I liked it. Sure. So you love books? Oh. Definitely. <laughs> Big reader. Kind of strongly in the children's department, but we have something for everybody. I have been coming into this store with my wife for a long time. Didn't know you were working here at that time. And of course you just bought this last year, right? June. Awesome, awesome. So this is kind of rolling into your first holiday season. Gifts are great here, books, toys, games. Tell us about some of those events. What are the things that you're doing and looking to do uh, in the coming year or years? Well, right now we do story time a couple times a week. We're focusing on the pre-K age for that. And we have at least one kids event a month. Um, last month we made Christmas ornaments and advent calendars. Uh -huh. And we uh, have some book clubs that come in back there. So we're gonna have a lot more book clubs. And you do have some authors that come in and do some autograph sessions, I guess. Yeah. How often does stuff like that happen? About, about once a month. So we just had one a couple weeks ago with a Christmas book, and then we have two coming on one day. What, what I love about walking through the store is it's a, you, have a, you have a lot of diversity in your books. Uh, how do you pick that out? Well, I've been building that also so that everybody can see themselves in a book, because mm -hmm. that's pretty important to us. A lot of what I buy is because I like it, but it's also what people ask for. Sure. You know, I know the authors, I know children's books. I try to, to have a mix of like the old Caldic Caldicots and those kinds of things and just just knew what's fun, what I think they'll they'll like. Now you had mentioned as well that you've got some local artists that put pieces here in the in the store. Is that something you're planning on uh, building upon and expanding on as well? We'd like to. Mm -hmm. I mean as long as it, it kind of fits our atmosphere, yeah. Sure. sure, well I'm gonna tell everyone that watches this, that sees this at any time, Tina and her staff are great. Your staff's made up of a lot of retired school teachers as well. Most of us, yeah. Yeah, so you know that they're gonna love and care for you and your kids, and this is a great place to shop, buy your books, your gifts, your toys, whatever it might be. So come visit her in downtown Lee Summit any time of the year. They'll take great care of you here at Katie's Books. Well, it kind of looks like Michael cleaned up in there, yeah. KD Books. But hey folks, thank you so much for joining us today. We're so glad that you could join us. And until we meet again, we will be selling Kansas City with the American Dream. Have a great day. Take care. Hi, I'm Allison Rank, and this is the American Dream selling Kansas City. The American dream is about real estate, lifestyle, and culture. And I get the privilege to show you two historical places that make this beautiful city, Kansas City, our home. Let's go. I am standing on a historic hill in Kansas City called Strawberry Hill, or as the locals like to say, just the hill. 
This place is so special for so many reasons, like the spectacular views of downtown Kansas City, some of the best barbecue in town, in my personal opinion, and I'm talking about you, Slabs Barbecue, and local dive bars that feel like you're on an episode of Cheers because literally everyone knows your name. And the reason for that is that their ancestors, including my own, settled here after the Great Flood in the early 19th century. They took their river community up the hill that was covered in strawberry vines, hence the name Strawberry Hill, and built these modest homes on narrow lots, creating this bungalow vibe in this community. Now, Strawberry Hill has had its fair share of ups and downs because it's a hill, get it? Anyway, there are lots of reasons why people still choose to make this their home, and it might have something to do with the view. Hi, Andy. Thank you for joining me today on the American Dream. Tell me about the background. Um, what made you want to revitalize the area? So J. Rieger & Co. was founded historically back in the 1800s by my family. Died with prohibition in 1919 and then we brought it back in 2014 in the Electric Park District here within the East Bottoms of Kansas City. Uh, and then in 2019, we opened up the more or less second iteration of what we do, but we really wanted to create an awesome experience. Okay. And so as part of that renovation, we did a, a big 60,000 square foot historic revitalization project in the building that we're sitting in right now. And we wanted to do something that was a little bit out of the ordinary. We didn't want to just do a big manufacturing plant, but we wanted to create an opportunity to revitalize one of the forgotten parts of Kansas City. So talking about experiences, you have more than just the Hey Hey Club here. You have multiple experiences. What are those different avenues that you try to create for your consumer when they come here? Yeah, so it's, it's a, it was a tough problem for us to solve because we make booze first and foremost. Mm -hmm. And so the experience that we provide as what we always call us, we are a company of experiences, was bottled alcohol. Whether sure. that is at your favorite bar or restaurant or in your home. Right. So not only do we have this Hey Hey Club, which mm -hmm. is our high-end cocktail bar, mm -hmm. where when you're down here, it feels like an intimate cocktail bar, but we have a 5,000 square foot bar called the Monogram Lounge. Uh, it's cocktails, it's loud, it's shared plates, and then we have the Electric Park Garden Bar. Now, wait a minute, isn't the Monogram Lounge, doesn't that overlook your production floor? It does, yeah, Very so nice. it's it, the so production. So you're including two things into one. Well, the That's production of, the of our facility is our heartbeat, and so yes. we wanted as many opportunities within the building to be centered around the heartbeat of the company. We also have our uh, tasting room as well, uh -huh. so we really have four different bars okay. throughout. We have a great time with it. That's Let's good. That. We get to run a distillery, are you kidding I me? I know, how fun is that? pleasure showing you what makes this awesome city so special. This is the American Dream selling Kansas City. Until next time, cheers. Hi, I'm George Medina with my daughter and business partner, Ely. We're the George Medina Real Estate Team and your hosts on American Dream TV. Today, we are selling, selling Kansas, Kansas City. city. Today we're going to meet with local business owner and our friend Heather White. We're at 39th and Main Street in the heart of Midtown Kansas City, Missouri, where she's opened not one, not two, but soon to be three successful concepts all right in one little corner. The first place we're going to visit is Taylor, a European style restaurant with great vibes and very moody decor. We think you're going to love it. Let's go take a look. So here we are with Heather White, the owner of Taylor, her second build out in Kansas City. And as far as I know, the first of its kind in, in Kansas City. So can you tell me a little bit more about where this concept came from? Yeah, this was gonna be the sister restaurant to our first concept, which was the Russell, which was a quick serve. This was a more of an elevated, fine dining experience. We wanted to do something where, you know, we had a dinner experience for our guests and for clientele that was always coming in. So this really evolved into something a little bit fancier. And uh, when we got into it, uh, with all the walls originally being white, I decided maybe blue was gonna be its base tone. 
and then of course putting the dark wood walls and all the furnishings, which are all old antiques that I have found in and around Kansas City. And um, of course, when I had to lay the floors, 1,750 square feet of tile, my business partner looked at me and said, well, you're, you can't afford a tiler you're gonna have to lay the floors yourself. I'm like, oh my God. You laid all of these tile floors oh, in here? Yeah. Yep, square <laughs> foot by square foot. That's a yeah. labor of love, I love it. Well, with, when it's a look that you want and it finishes it all off, it was part of like the ambiance, but also the experience. I wanted something like a brasserie, something you would find in New York or Paris. Somehow she's curated the most perfect vibe I know it, I know you can get a little piece of it, but you really need to be here in person to get the full feel. And there's no yes. better place to be around the holidays than right here inside Taylor. Upstairs originally was gonna be a room slash storage for all my antiques. I didn't think the restaurant was gonna be that busy downstairs where we would need to seat upstairs. But after weekend one, <laughs> when it was standing room only, <laughs> On the first and second night, I was like, oh my gosh, we have to turn the upstairs into a full seated restaurant. It gives it also a different vibe. Like if you look, we put dark hardwood floors. I put dark tables up here, all dark wood. Uh, I left all the marble downstairs to match that bistro kind of loud, loud sound. And this is more like a cozy living room, something you would find probably back in like the 30s or 40s. So you'll see a lot of settee lounges covered in uh, you know, like velvet fabrics. I have long tables, small tables. It's European comfort food. So like mussels frites, okay. um, you know, uh, like baguette bread, fresh baked on the table with uh, like a whipped butter that's filled with like, garlic and herbs. Uh, a lot of um, like the chicken payard. Uh, Love that dish. I know, me too. It's <laughs> so good. Uh, steak frites. And I see the draw here. I don't know that I can name another European comfort food <laughs> restaurant in town. So no wonder it was standing room only the first weekend and then the immediate need for spillover space. Yeah. So thankfully yeah. you had an extra room to work with well, and yeah. no surprise, you turned it into an amazing space. Well, Word on the street is you just came up with a new concept yes. that recently opened called Cheval. Yeah, which is horse in French. Can we go take a look? Let's go, yeah, Let's check it out. out. Cheval was built as an overflow for Taylor because we didn't have a bar in Taylor, but this really kind of created its own space, its own feeling. And uh, when these posters came about, I had this huge wall and I had five of these. And I'm like, oh, I have to do this. And so it has a real Gatsby feel. I wanted yes, people- Yes, it does. <laughs> I wanted people to feel like they were swinging from the chandeliers coming in here. Heather, thank you again for having us. And thank you guys for tuning in to American Dream TV. It's clear the future is bright for you. Congratulations on everything you've accomplished you. so far. Hey, and let's cheers to the future. Thanks so much. Thanks for coming, guys. Cheers. 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 I'm Cami Jones and I'm your host for American Dream Selling KC. Today we're going to talk about my favorite charity here in Kansas City, Braden's Hope for Childhood Cancer. We are here at the Braden's Hope Tour Home, which is a big charity event here in Kansas City for Braden's Hope. We are going to meet two women who have dedicated their life and the funding and the research for childhood cancer. Let's go inside and take a look at this amazing house and meet some amazing women. Hopin with Braden's Hope and Executive Director Kim Stanley. Thank you ladies so much for having me today. It's such an honor to be here with you. I am a big fan of Braden's Hope and I'm so glad that I'm here. So Delise, tell me how Braden's Hope got started. Braden's Hope started when our son Braden was diagnosed with cancer when he was three and he went through a cancer diagnosis, had about a 30% chance for survival and then he relapsed when he was five years old and there was no known cure for his cancer. Kim, you have a story too. I want to hear your story. Kim's a good friend of mine, yes. her daughter, Callan. Yes, so I came to know Braden's Hope through Delise primarily. I went to an event that was a Braden's Hope sponsored event and I was at the time holding my two year old's hand who had just finished her second round of chemotherapy. So we are in this amazing house that was built by Rod Rock Homes who's a custom builder here in Kansas City. Tell me about this house and what this amazing event's gonna happen tonight. Yes, we are so thrilled. So all year long we meet incredible people and we met a family who was willing to put their own personal 
home on tour and we sell tickets. We host a little preview party that we're gonna have this evening and it raises funds for childhood cancer research. So we're very excited. I love it. So we're right here in the community and this house was custom built and they chose to, to do this for Brayden's Hope, which is an amazing thing to do. Um, and we are excited to take you through the house. If our viewers want to learn more about Brayden's Hope, how do they do that? Yes, the best way to get involved is follow us on social media, Brayden's Hope for Childhood Cancer, or go to our website, www.bradenshope.org. You guys have dedicated your life and your time to children, and it just, I adore you both, and thank you so much. Thank you. I'm with my colleague, Katherine Sloan, and homeowner, Katie Gillis. You ladies are gonna take us through this phenomenal home, aren't you? Yes. I can't good. wait. So Katie, love this home. What made you decide to go through the building process? Well, we currently live in this neighborhood and we love this area. We love this neighborhood. We didn't want to go far, but we outgrew our home and wanted to build our dream home. So we're here in our dining space. One of the things we knew we needed was just one large dining space instead of two eating areas. Um, we really wanted the view, and so we enlarged windows, we centered the pool so that we could eat and have a view at the same time. And the natural light's amazing in here. It was really important to us to um, have a large drop zone and mudroom, and so we enlarged the mudroom concept. With teenagers and friends over all the time, we wanted a place for the kids. So we dedicated the basement to all kids' things. Katie, thank you so much for showing us your beautiful new home. Your family is going to be so happy here, and I'm so happy for you all. Thank you for letting us tour it. You're so welcome. We are here with builder Brian Rodrock with Rodrock Homes. Brian, thank you so much for being with us today. Oh, fantastic, I'm enjoying it. So we are just really obsessed with this house. What an amazing house. It's custom, it's beautiful. Tell us about the house. So the, the home itself uh, is a truly custom home. It's a, it's a version of something we built probably six years ago. Um, the Gillis family came to us. This is their second home that Rod Rock Homes has built with them. So it's, a, it's an honor and a privilege really to have a, a family come and, and come at us again and then help us explore uh, a custom dream of theirs. The custom division at Rod Rock Homes is, is really unique in the fact that we're only building 10 to 12 homes a year by choice, but Rod Rock Homes in itself delivers 100 to 150 homes throughout Johnson County. Catherine, I've had such a great day. I'm feeling so inspired. It has been a great day and there's so much hope. There is so much hope. If you're in the Kansas City area and you are looking to buy or sell, our team would love to help you. Well, that's our episode of American Dreams Selling Kansas City. My name is Adriana Bates and I've enjoyed hosting you as we've toured around this amazing city with our top real estate professionals. Tune in with us next time and don't forget to follow us on our socials at The American Dream TV. So that's it and don't forget, cheers to your American dream.